we are finally recording product updates. Jaehun and the whole product team is so fast in delivering product <laughs> updates that we needed to put a process around it <laughs> that we also communicate all the stuff we are shipping constantly. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, the product roadmap uh, board, like the public one, was also super helpful for that because normally we used to have, uh, I mean, we still have it. We have this Discord feature request channel. So whoever wants to come up with an idea, they can like just write it there. But the problem is then someone needs to go in there, take it into a GitHub issue, and then we need to talk about it and we need to plan it and everything. And then sometimes it gets lost. But now we have a product roadmap, which is public, which you can directly go in and um, say that, okay, I would like to get this interesting feature on the platform and then the cool thing is other people can also uh, put their vote into it and then we can look at the highest votes and then put it into production as fast as possible so it's also like a very democratic way of uh, getting product features out so the first topic which we always will discuss in those product updates is because we love our users we love our customers and in particular the over 1000 reviews we now have online and so we have this user review of the month uh, so and for the month of February, there is uh, Mikolai uh, who said perfect tool for companies with large knowledge bases, a real game changer. The best way to connect many databases in one place for optimizing your agent's work speed. The monthly highlights. And why don't you start? Absolutely. I can totally start with Google and OneDrive integrations. I mean, from its name, I think it's pretty easy to understand. Uh, our knowledge bases is a big hit. People love to use it. Uh, it is super helpful to um, shorten the time that they are spending on a task. They just need to upload all their files and everything. But the issue was in the past that, uh, let's say you have all of your files regarding to your work or your personal projects or whatever is in a Google Drive or a Microsoft OneDrive. Uh, and what you need to do is download it and then upload it again to knowledge bases, which is kind of not super, uh, not super great. And that's why we decided to, this also came in as a lot of feedback. People wanted to have OneDrive and Google Drive integrations. Uh, the next one, new feature is actually quite short. Uh, the formality options, which is uh, Dominic, my co-founder, told about this since two years or one and a half <laughs> years, something like that. And I was always like, yeah, we need to implement that. You're very right. That's a very important feature. And it took one and a half years. But finally, it's there. And I'm really happy that finally we made it. I mean, ultimately, you know, all these large language models, they are native English speakers, so to say. And yes, you can prompt the GPT-4 to say so something into a formal or informal tone. Mm -hmm. But you cannot or you shouldn't do everything with GPT-4. Um, and all the smaller models usually struggle, in particular the longer foreign text gets, yeah. uh, the more they struggle. And then you have these special type of languages, such as German. We had a lot of French people complaining about it. A lot of Russian speakers as well who said, like, guys, we need, you know, we, we like to converse <laughs> in informal language. But sometimes, you know, if I write to my boss, I cannot say, what's up, bro? <laughs> uh, um, so finally we have these formality options in there you can find them in a little drop down where you now can choose for example German German informal yeah. German formal okay so on the third new feature the last yes. one of the new features for this month is the copilot autocomplete so basically what you're writing if you ever use the github copilot this is like for writing code you can while writing the code it can autocomplete the next sentence or like the next code blocks automatically and I always would have loved to have something similar while I'm writing my blogs or my emails or whatever I'm writing, or maybe like writing a message uh, on Slack or Discord, whatever, to have this kind of a feature. Uh, and finally, we have it. Uh, it was pretty hard. I mean, it sounds like a very simple thing to implement because like you just have a sentence and then you need to autocomplete the rest. You know, it's not like we are autocompleting the next word. It's like autocompleting the whole thing. Uh, and to be able to do that is not very easy because uh, to have a good experience, you need to be really fast. And to be able to be really fast, you need to have this autocomplete models deployed all around the world, closer as close possible to the user. Uh, so that's why it took a long time. Uh, we are going to release it in beta version. So not it's not going to be open for everyone, uh, but also maybe you can leave a comment and if you're interested or write it in the Discord channel so we can get you into the... The next things we have on the list are more quality of life features because we really, I mean, since December, we doubled down on, on yeah, doing some house cleaning. Uh, the first one has been improved search. That's actually something I was very, very excited for. Yeah. Um, previously, we only searched uh, additional information from up to five files uh, and only one search query 
now we create uh, multiple search queries yeah. and also allow much more references into the whole uh, or into Xeno short term memory, let's say it like this. Mm. Uh, one thing which I'm really looking forward in the close future still broad and deep search. Yeah, uh, that means so. broad search. Think about you have multiple queries, m up to 30 references, for example, but only just small snippets. Uh, ultimately, if you think about knowledge bases, the snippets we are playing in there, mm -hmm. while deep search would be like, OK, into one or two files, give me as many snippets out of those files and mm -hmm. let me know everything about those files. There was actually today, it's a Sunday, uh, the, our users are never sleeping, not even on a Sunday. Also, somebody asked for a clarification there on how this best would work. Mm -hmm. uh, um, I guess it was on the Discord uh, feature request or the question uh, channel so that someone was asking. Ask for that. help channel. Ask for help, yeah. yeah. Exactly, exactly. I've also seen that. I mean, th this definitely super. I mean, Dominic, um, together with like uh, with Barish, uh, they are in contact with uh, with our users. I mean, everyone in the team is always in contact, in touch with the users all the time. But Dominic and Barish is like specifically they are closer, and from that, like because they can also see the the problems of the users so well, uh, they come up with really cool ideas like this one, like broad search and like this uh, different kind of search options. Um, and we are really, uh, as a, the engineering and product team, we are like super happy to find like the best ways to implement it, but it's taking a little bit of time. Uh, hopefully I will get this feature out with the team <laughs> soon, still drafting the ideas how we can best implement it. I mean, what's important, what also Jehun said, you are a user, you are a customer of Text Cortex, let us know, talk with us. Uh, because Broad and Deep mm -hmm. Search was also uh, a feature which came out of a discussion together with one of our most yeah. recent enterprise customers who has 100 licenses uh, on the board. So just to give you an idea, yeah. you're really missing something in our product? Yeah. Give us two weeks and we most likely have an MVP on the platform. Yeah. Okay, but let's move on. The next thing, organization improvements for streamlined team workflows. Interesting yeah. for enterprise customers. Uh, it got much easier to share within an organization yeah. or within a team, so to say. We also work on basically improving the general sharing function such that, I don't know, we have many students on the, on the platform as well. So you want to share it with your five colleagues because you work on a case study in your mm. business school will be also soon possible. Another quality of life, multiple selection of oh, knowledge yeah. bases. This was a uh, multiple selection of knowledge base. This also comes from this product uh, product board. So people were writing as a feature request. One user was saying like, hey guys, like, is there a way that I can uh, choose multiple knowledge bases? Because like, I'm like creating multiple knowledge bases, which has like the same data. And I said, I told to myself like, I really don't want this person to have this much of pain. We really need to implement this feature. And uh, it also came one of, from one of our users, but it makes a lot of sense, right? So you have different knowledge bases. And normally, I mean, before that, we just allow people to hold, choose only one, but now you can choose all of them, like multiple of them up to you. And we can still bring you the same amazing Xenojet experience. The next one, oh yeah, this is one I love. Uh, I, I love shortcuts. Mm -hmm. uh, I've been uh, holding up the flag for shortcuts <laughs> up very long. Uh, and now we also have a template shortcut. You might mm -hmm. know from, from the Xeno interface, you have the slashes for knowledge bases, you have at for calling personas, uh, and now you have the hashtag for directly mm -hmm. entering into a template. Uh, uh, this is a more advanced user feature, but you know if you're already so deep within our platform that you understand these customizations, which really make and break our platform. Yeah, that's what we are known for: all the customization, the personalization. Absolutely. So very happy. You know, just try it out. Shortcuts. If you haven't heard about templates, also check it out. A mm -hmm. lot of people save tons of time with it. The last one is the file uploads inside of the extension very straightforward so you can upload files directly from the chrome extension you don't need to go to xeno chat on the web yeah. app so that's it we were missing this little paper clip you have in the input you know you know it from everywhere whether it's whatsapp facebook messenger or uh, the microsoft's actual this clippy <laughs> clippy yeah we were missing clippy yeah. <laughs> inside of the input <laughs> so we also had it yeah exactly i mean it's always a challenge to keep these interfaces aligned uh, for for you the viewer to understand um, 
the web app will always receive the first updates and then we try to as fast as possible uh, roll them out to the extension and also to the desktop app or in the future also mobile app mm -hmm. and whatever interface we have yeah ar glasses uh, quest <laughs> or uh, uh, apple vision pro uh, assistant yeah. whatever web app will always be first the other places will be rolled out as soon as possible yes those are the highlights of last month uh, the next chapter on my beautiful list here would be now what's ahead uh, and what's ahead we basically try to give you a little sneak peek of what we are trying to release in yeah the next four weeks more or less up until we do the mm -hmm. next uh, update first of them would be embeddable xenos yes this is one of the features that has been asked for 150,000 times <laughs> uh, and uh, people are just like keep asking about it we were first a little bit skeptical about it regarding to making it like very secure uh, for our users. So we don't want uh, uh, this like Xenobots that are created to talk about something different that you if you didn't set them to. Uh, for that, we had to do a lot of engineering work behind the scenes, think about how we can put really good guardrails so it's not turning into trying to, I don't know, uh, sell you a free... Uh, Chevrolet for one dollar, for example. Something like that. I guess, like, <coughs> Dominic can explain that. Yeah, I mean, further. this is... I, I have been one of the main blockers for such an embeddable large language model chatbot. Uh, out of personal experience as well, uh, calling out to deal here, their mm. their large language model chat or embedded chat is, is oftentimes very confused. Uh, I wanted to verify our payment. Um, and it told me I'm going to give you five options. One of them will be talking to a human. Uh, ultimately, <laughs> give me three options and no talking to a human. I was highly displeased. Similar thing happened to me with a SIM card. One thing uh, we are currently, yeah, we are trying as much to build in as much security as possible. But be yeah. aware there's still a large language model underlying. Yeah. So there's still the potential for some sort of prompt injection yeah, where people yeah. try to somehow gets Xeno into a certain mood uh, or into a certain yeah. framing uh, to respond to something like this. I mean, you can self-serve build them. Uh, yeah. We recommend reach out to us. Um, we, can, we can help you with that. Absolutely. It's also for one of our enterprise customers that we uh, put it up higher in the priority list now. Uh, they will deploy it first just internally. So think about mm -hmm. an embedding yeah. into SharePoint, into Notion such that the team can work with it without leaving uh, existing or already used to environments uh, because now that's also a similar strategy with OneDrive for example uh, yeah. uh, manage your knowledge in OneDrive and you know we are in the background helping you with our little AI colleague that's ultimately how it should be with as little friction you should use AI in your daily life that's always what we wanted to do that's why we had the Chrome extension as one of the first companies around there anyways yeah. um, this much about embeddable Xeno. There's still a waitlist going on, which you go on our uh, website. You can see under products says Xeno bots. This is currently how it's named. Mm -hmm. You can register for it, leave your email there, and we will reach out to you as soon as it's public. Look the next forward. one is PDF tools. You were very excited about yeah, that. Yeah, the PDF tools. I mean, we have a lot of people uploading PDFs to rewrite them, <laughs> translate them into different languages. Uh, and normally how we were doing it, it's like we had like all this kind of fancy stuff, OCRing, even if you upload something with image, uh, we were able to get the text out of it and translate it or rewrite it in the, the, the way that you wanted to have it. Uh, but the problem is there's most of the time the the users also want to keep the same kind of formatting. So let's say you have like two columns on a PDF um, we can also like now show you like two formats of it, like one the original on the right side, you're going to see the translate or rewritten format of it. Uh, and this is all going to happen uh, right in front of your eyes. So it's going to be a superior experience what we have recently. It's not going to be just like a plain text. So upload PDF, just get a plain text in, plain text out. No, it's going to keep the same formatting. So you can, you don't need to do all this uh, work again afterwards. Yeah. The last point is something which uh, is now in Sprint and uh, in customer overdrive, uh, image generation within Xeno. Oh yeah, that is uh, also <laughs> one of the features that has been uh, requested 130,000 times uh, <laughs> and we were not able to do it. I mean, why? Because we were completely focused on making knowledge bases work as good as possible. And then we decided ourselves that so, so if we do it really well, then we are going to branch out slowly. And that branching out is now finally happening after two years after the release of knowledge bases. 
Um, we are going to, we are still looking into which models that we're going to use. So there's like different stable diffusion and stuff, you know, there's open source ones, closed source ones. Um, but it's going to be possible to ask Zeno, say, create me, just generate me this image. And then we are going to be able to imagine new worlds for you. I mean, ultimately with the whole image generation, it will be also, we have no plan on becoming a design tool. Absolutely, uh, not. but it, it has become some some sort of an expectation of users is, you know, that here and there you can also just generate an image, a nice one. Uh, I've also used plenty of other image generators yeah. in my past. I have uh, images of that in enterprise uh, decks, etc. Of ours. Um, also, this enterprise customer is a consultancy, so usually yeah. they just look for some base visuals of like, ah, I have this idea here. This is how it should look like. Generate me something like this. Yeah, it will be basic. We won't, or for now at least, uh, within the next 12 months, 24 months, mm. we will not build our own diffusion model. Yeah, no. Ah, but uh, at least you will get the state of the art right within Text Cortex. It will save you another subscription, more or less, uh, for very basic use cases. Otherwise, a shout out here. Um, if you really need a design software with an inbuilt AI tool or AI generator, I can just recommend Kittle. Uh, good friends of ours as well. Um, there you have everything from a background remover. And I, I come from this former design space as well. Everything you need in a modern design tool plus AI is also in there. Uh, we're going to finish this whole update here today with the use case of the month. The use case of the month is usually something where we yet again dive into our 1000 reviews. And by the way, we also just get named one of the fastest growing and best software yes. platforms um of the last year uh, the use case of a month is from a lawyer you know while i'm typing down my password it's not again. legal advice <laughs> let's put it this way disclaimer who said a perfect tool for lawyers uh well text cortex understands the language quite easily and is very user friendly etc etc i don't go through the whole uh review here right now but i can fully understand this person as well i mean jay is was leading with the thought of whenever i'm 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 falling in desperation of a, of a large contract and Jay's just like, let it ride it by Zeno. <laughs> My common answer to that was always, okay, it can formulate out a nice term, but first of all, Zeno doesn't have an insurance for legal, yeah, <laughs> for that's legal true. operations. Second of all, it cannot defend you in front of court. But what I've really... Not yet. <laughs> not yet. Tesla bought with Zeno brain. <laughs> Zeno brain. Um, <laughs> that, that almost sounds like Tesla bought with zero brain. <laughs> <laughs> then we have the next branding disaster. <laughs> so this is the use case of the month. Um, there's plenty more in this vastness of our platform. And we usually say that our current user base is very similar to the one of Dropbox in the early 2010s. Yeah. Uh, very broad. I mean, this is what you get when there are roughly 1.4 million people coming to your platform every month or coming to your website to be more precise. Yeah. Um, all colors more or less and we are very happy that in particular we have we help all those colors in terms of knowledge mm -hmm. that's what we really called out for knowledge and with that we come slowly to the end yeah we um, want to give the call to action again about call to action definitely if you have a product idea please go on to the link in the description below i hope it's going to be there <laughs> and then afterwards uh, there's a new idea button on there over there or if you maybe i mean you don't have to write a new idea you can also just look at what kind of things does exist in the product board and if you think something is cool you can just give it a, a vote and then which whatever feature gets the highest vote of course we also filter it internally if it really makes sense or not and then we will put it in next iteration so you're going to have an active role in shaping the future of text cortex product so really looking forward to it. please have a look and let us know what you think thanks a lot for joining thanks a lot <laughs> bye Good. bye bye